That shit's nice and smooth. It's a fresher setting. Good frame rate. What up, YouTube? Living Proof Fitness. When the gains start slowing down. Excuse me. Yo. What's up? So anyways, do gains slow down? If so, when? When you're a new lifter, you make most of your gains within the first year. After the first year, you still make gains. They just start to slow down. I made most of my gains in the first two years. I'm going on three years now in June. And I can tell you since the second year till now, size wise, I have not really grown that much. You know, honestly, I didn't even measure like my arms and shit in my second year when I first hit the second year mark. Now, my arms are about 18 inches, believe it or not. But yeah, I just measured my arms with my dad the other day. His arms are one inch bigger than mine. So that's not bad considering the fact that I was a fucking scrawny motherfucker. And you know, now I got my arms up to fucking 18 inches and shit. But yeah, gains do slow down. I would say after the first year, if you're busting your ass, if you're fucking kind of lollygagging, you'll probably continue to make gains if, you know, well after your first year. But I was busting my ass for the first year, busting my ass for the second year. Second year going into the third year, I've still been working out pretty hard. Probably not as hard as I should be. I've have, had, had a lot of things going on and stuff, but no excuses, you know what I'm saying? I've still been fucking going. And uh, that's just the way the human body works. You know, your fucking genetic potential can only get you so far until you start fucking slowing down. Unless you're on the juice, cheating some, somehow, you know what I'm saying, HGH, whatever the fuck, is the only way that you're gonna drastically keep fucking growing, you know, dramatically, and you know, everybody's gonna be fucking noticing that shit. That's just the way it is. Now, strength-wise, your strength will still be going up if you're training correctly. That's why I highly encourage everybody to start thinking about getting some strength training uh, involved in their daily routine whenever they're bulking. You know, make sure that you're doing it when you're bulking because you don't want to be strength training when you're cutting, fucking up your joints, lifting all this heavy ass weight. So next time you go back into your bulking phase after you've been lifting for, I'd say, you know, I don't know, about a year and a half to two years. You know, that's like when I started doing my actual strength training. Wait about that amount of time, start your strength training, make sure that you're doing it in a bulk and your strength will start to go up. So yeah, like I said, Size-wise, haven't really been growing that much more from the last year till now, but strength has definitely gone up. I know when I first started working out, my max bench was, I think it was 205. If I remember correctly, my max bench for one rep on the flat bench was 205. Now my max bench is probably in between 325, 330. I'm saying around there because this last time, right before I started cutting, I went ahead and did my max again, uh, 315 just for two reps. So I'm guessing if I was just going for the one rep max, it'd probably be like you know 325, 330 probably at max. That that little 10, 15 pounds is a fucking huge deal when you're starting to push that much weight. And you know what I'm saying on the fucking uh, incline now, you know I can fucking do 225 for reps. Um, not currently at this moment, I'm cutting right now, so I'm not trying to fucking push it and have all that extra weight on my joints and shit. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Strength starts to go up if you're doing it right, and size is just gonna start slowing down over fucking time unless you're cheating, and you know what I'm saying? Ain't no cheaters over here with Living Proof Fitness. We're trying to keep it all natural and shit. You know what I'm saying? Juicing is for fucking punks, man. If that's the lifestyle that you wanna live, not talking shit, but you know, do you. We're gonna fucking keep it all natural on this side. Hope that answers your question. Gains do slow down over time. In between a year and a half, two years, you're definitely gonna start slowing down. From the start all the way to your first year is usually when you're gonna make the most gains. But that sums up the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, become living proof. Cause shit, I'm making gains, bruh. Are you?